so I haven't been on YouTube or really super active on any social media platforms in the past three weeks to a month and I wanted to just share an honest update about what's been going on in my life. A big reason why I started sharing here on YouTube is that I found a lot of inspiration, motivation, and really just help uh, by watching other people's YouTube videos, by observing other people's experiences and things that they have gone through or challenges that they have overcome and kind of apply that to my own experience or just use that as kind of um, like a guiding light in my own life. So as I'm creating this video, I just hope that it also provides some guiding light if you are going through something similar. So I feel like I have so much to say. Um, I kind of don't know where to start. I recorded this video once before and I felt like I didn't get everything that I wanted in there. So we're going to try this a second time. Um, I did write down some things that I wanted to talk about uh, multiple times as well, but I figured I'm just going to make this a little bit more intimate and real and raw and kind of just share what's on my mind about what's been going on. So yeah, I guess the question then is where to start. And I feel like a good place to start is by addressing the obvious. Um, it's really easy for us, but for me in particular, to put a lot of pressure on myself. Um, and it's something that I'm really recognizing now that I am a new mom um, or something that's really in the forefront for me, whereas it wasn't before. Um, I feel like I place a lot of my self-worth and my, like, my worthiness, my enoughness on being productive and doing things and because I do that I place a lot of pressure on myself to be productive and to get things done um, and that has really just caught up with me recently and um, I found myself in a pretty dark place uh, so as many of you know if you are or have been following along I am a new mom my son, he's almost six months now. He'll be six months and five days. I can't believe it, but that's a whole other story. Um, and in being a new mom or after giving birth, you can experience what's known as postpartum depression. And I do feel like this is something that I had been experiencing, um, which had kind of led me to just taking a break and really getting my priorities in check um, and what I mean by that is when Eli was first born um, I felt the need to kind of just jump right back into things jump right back into going for walks regularly and cleaning the house and working um, and in the beginning this was pretty easy one I was like running on the high of just giving birth and it's so amazing and so beautiful um, you're literally like elated for probably the first couple of weeks um, but as he started getting older and napping less all of the things on my to-do list weren't getting done and I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to get the things done um, and what ended up happening is I was sacrificing my own care, my own wellness, um, at the expense of doing other things like working five hours a day or, um, you know, taking care of my family. And I realized a couple things, uh, one of those things being that it's really hard 
when you're not working um, to be a new mom. And the second thing I realized is you can't really take care of others, especially your child, but also your relationships with your parents and your in-laws and your friends um, and you know you can't take care of your house it's my point is it's really hard to take care of anything when you are coming from an empty cup like when you're not filling your own cup up and meeting your own needs first um, it leads to like extreme burnout and depression as I have personally experienced um, and it's really hard it doesn't only affect you but it also affects your child because if you're like me I'm a breastfeeding mom and we also practice um, like attachment parenting uh, so our baby is very dependent on um, me and my stability and if like I'm not in a, a good state mentally or physically like he can feel that and it can cause stress and um, make him not want to eat as much or not sleep as well um, so we were experiencing that and then it was also taking a toll on my relationship with my fiance um, just in terms of our communication and his stress levels and his ability to do his job which is actually what provides for us um, so it kind of all snowballed and yeah, looking back now, I just realize so much. Um, and I was talking to Keith about this a week ago or so, and I feel like when we give birth or when we have a baby, that postpartum period or like that fourth trimester the universe is literally telling us like hey it's time to slow down like it's time to slow down it's time to replete yourself and nourish yourself and fill yourself back up because you just did a really hard freaking job like spent nine months growing a child and them absorbing like a lot of the nutrients that you're taking in but also like you just gave birth which that's a process in and of itself and yeah I just feel like I wasn't listening um, to that little like reminder or just notion of like hey you need to slow down and I just jumped right back into doing all the things and um, yeah and it was really really hard and, and caused a lot of pain for a lot of people um, I wouldn't I used to say that I would go back and I do many things different um, but at this point I can say that next time we have a child God willing um, I will definitely do things different but I would not change anything that happened you know in the past five months because I learned so much and I learned so much about myself and I learned so much about my child and my relationship um, and I think going through that kind of darkness really illuminates or brings light to the things that are really important in life um, and I, I find that to be like the gold or, or what is really valuable in challenging situations is we just most of the time get this burst of clarity on like where we need to realign and what really is important and I think that is just so beautiful because here I am today um, and like I said like it's been about a month since I recorded a YouTube video put a YouTube video out or even really thought about making a YouTube video but it's also been a month since I stopped watching YouTube videos and stopped working five hours a day and stopped going on social media and started doing a lot of things that really fill me up and my life has changed like 180 degrees like I am a completely different person I'm more whole I'm more happy and I'm able to approach my life 
in the way that I had envisioned before being a mother. You know, the way that I envisioned I would be a mother before I was a mother. I am able to be that person, um, which is like incredible. And yeah, I just, um, there's a quote that I like by an artist and it says, out of darkness comes light. Um, and I truly believe that because I have witnessed it on many occasions in my personal life, this being one of them. Um, but I do believe that as we work through and overcome some of these darker periods in our, in our lives, but also like just darker aspects of ourselves, like seeing um, some of our shadow parts like there is light, there is gold, there is valuable lessons and gifts in that. Um, and yeah, so today I am doing a lot more for myself and yeah, like I said, I'm just completely different and so much happier and my relationships are so much better and I feel like I'm finally at a place where I can add to my list of things making YouTube videos every once in a while when I feel like it, when I feel inspired to. Um, but yeah, I feel this sense of just wholeness and worthiness um, without the need or desire to be productive or put so much pressure on myself. Um, just like I am worthy without doing or needing to do anything and yeah, instead of like watching or taking in a bunch of like information that might not be beneficial to me, I've been very selective about what I do read, watch, listen to, um, and I've kind of incorporated some more spiritual practices or information back into my life, which has also been extremely valuable and it is something that I feel like, um, I had kind of brushed to the wayside. Um, in particular, I'm listening to an audio book called Trusting the Gold by Tara Brock, and it's just like so good, so valuable. Um, and I'm learning and just having so many realizations from this book. Um, but yeah, I think a big theme from me experiencing just that darkness and that depression was really figuring out what my priorities are um, because yeah I feel like my priorities were way out of whack because I was prioritizing um, like making YouTube videos and working and mainly those two things over like anything else in my life so it was like work YouTube then my son then my relationship with Keith then the house and then me um, and I, like I said in the beginning, it's really hard to take care of anything when you're coming from an empty cup. And by putting myself at the bottom of my priority list, I was just constantly draining myself and coming at everything from an empty cup. And I just have shifted my priorities or I've really realized what my actual priorities are. and. In that, you know, I stopped working five hours a day and I stopped doing things that were lower hanging fruit and I started taking care of myself first and foremost and, you know, doing personal hygiene things like showering every day and brushing my teeth regularly and eating good food that makes me feel good and really listening to my body and what makes me feel good and going for walks and, yes, adding the spiritual aspect. Um, so I don't think that I would be in the place that I am today if I hadn't done any of those things. Like if I just continued living the way that I had been living, I would probably still be depressed and burnt out and pretty unhappy. Um, but because I decided to make some lifestyle changes, um, yeah, I feel like my life is a lot better now and 
I think that I wouldn't be here without my supportive partner Keith. Um, he's just my rock and I can bounce things off of him and he knows too when something is off with me and always checks in to see kind of what we need to adjust to make things better. So I don't think that I'd be here without him either. Being a mom is so fun and so great but also really challenging because there is that balance of taking care of yourself and also taking care of this new baby and like you want to be there 100% of the time and give your all to the baby but what I realized is if you're not taking care of yourself you will never give your all to anything um, and I found personally that I am able to give so much more to the people and things that I love because I am now like taking care of myself first um, so to wrap this up um, you know if I have any advice to give any like new mom or mom to be um, really prioritize taking care of yourself even when it's hard um, even when you think you don't have time make time uh, that's kind of what I did by eliminating some of the things that weren't as important to me like watching YouTube videos or scrolling Facebook it's like there's two minutes there two minutes that I could take a shower two minutes that I could brush my teeth and um, yeah also take care of yourself but don't put so much dang pressure on yourself because nobody else is putting pressure on you um, nobody else is putting any pressure on you to be any way to be perfect to be productive uh, I think we are our worst enemies in that sense because we put so much pressure on ourselves to be a certain way and it's like why why are we doing this why are we running ourselves through the dirt to be perfect because nobody else expects us to be perfect because we're just human and all we can do at the end of the day is be the best that we can be given the circumstances of that moment you know like all I could do when I was burnout and depressed is give my best from that place which wasn't very much but looking back now I know that I can give my all and truly be my best when I first take care of myself. Um, so I am going to be creating a video on the specific things that I did to get me through that dark period slash postpartum depression. Um, so if you're interested in that, I would love for you to subscribe, stick around, and be sure to check it out. Um, but yeah, this was like my honest mom update. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. I hope that you find some light in this if you are going through something similar. And I will see you all soon.